On the area now, uh, Carolyn mentioned this, uh, the air quality alert here goes technically until midnight. What will happen is the later we get, the cooler it is, and it's not so much about the temperature, but the less intensity of the solar radiation, which can help make chemicals like ozone that are not good. So I wouldn't be surprised if you get the same idea here tomorrow. Now, there is not one officially put out for tomorrow yet, but we'll have similar temperatures, similar wind fields. So when the radiation starts making some of these extra chemicals like ozone, can't break it up. So if you are bothered by this today, uh, you might be bothered by this tomorrow, just so you know, in terms of the air quality around here. So Detroit's 81, some high clouds. Mount Clemens 79, some high clouds just a little farther north. Not much cloudiness at all. All kinds of warmth out there, too, with 82 in Port Huron and Flint, 83 in Lapeer, 81 in Detroit. Now Troy's at 83. Toasty, toasty stuff as well. It's cooled off just a bit in Monroe to 78. So again, just a few of these high clouds. We're on the very outer edge. This is the system that was in the deep south yesterday. I told you it's going to D.C. It still is. And if you notice, the intensity is a lot uh, more widespread. And there is a lot more intensity down here. Kentucky and Tennessee with the heavier rain. Uh, I don't think we're going to get any rain out of this. Just a few high clouds and that's it. It moves on. Our action actually will come from uh, the northwest on Sunday, and that'll be the most interesting day of the weekend. But uh, this is Saturday at noon through the morning hours. We're fine. All kinds of sunshine again. There is a very slight chance for a couple little showers to pop up here if they do. Uh, here's uh, late in the afternoon. If they do, there could be a little thunder thrown in there too. That's not going to be a problem. This is kind of the outer edge of the outer edge that I just showed you, if you will. But then there's a strong cold front coming on Sunday afternoon and evening, and it looks like that will produce showers and most likely thunderstorms, and some of those could be a bit strong. So this is noon Sunday. You've got probably the morning, but not after that. And then this line will work its way through. A second line will come through later, and both of those have the chance to be a little bit on the heavy side. By 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock or so, that starts moving away. That is the start of the cooler air. Monday morning, probably a few uh, sprinkles, maybe a flake of snow, but there's a better chance to a couple flakes of snow. I think Monday evening as the cold air comes in on Monday and then really starts to cool off Monday evening into Tuesday morning. This green area across here for Sunday afternoon and evening says, yeah, maybe an isolated storm could get a bit too strong. So we'll be watching that for you throughout the weekend. A few clouds uh, overnight tonight, 56 with a light wind tomorrow. We will go 82 again. The higher rain chance does come on Sunday and Monday is not a pretty day. Wind can be blowing 35 miles an hour as the cold air comes in. Michelle?